The recent rain in Northeast Ohio is not stopping people from casting or requesting an early ballot. With just four days to go before the election, early voting numbers continue to outshine previous presidential elections. In Lorain County, more than 65,000 have requested to vote by mail, and 85% of them are already in. In Summit County, a whopping 123,000 people have requested an absentee ballot. And in Stark County, more than 56,000 voters have requested an absentee ballot by mail. And News 5's Jade Jarvis is live outside the Board of Elections right now. Hey Jade, how long were some of these residents waiting in line today? Well, Frank and Courtney, we talked to many voters in line today, some of them telling us they waited an hour and 10 minutes or longer just to make sure that their votes were counted. And many of them did not mind that wait. They say they are happy to see so many people out here in the early voting lines because of how important this election is. Next lady. That long line outside of the Cuyahoga County Board of Elections. I think everyone's just working great together. Moving steadily throughout the day. We got up here pretty quickly. We started off all the way next to the, um, the freeway. Voters braving the wind, rain, and cold to do their civic duty. It's just so important, uh, you know, with everything that's going on and making sure that your vote actually is going to count. They're joining the more than 44,000 people in the county who have already cast their ballots early and in person, surpassing the more than 38,000 who did the same four years ago. Voters we spoke to giving different reasons for why they chose to get it done ahead of Election Day. I wanted to come personally myself and fill it out myself. Mostly because of work. It's not really good to do it on a Tuesday. I just heard the news that it might be like, you know, take a long time for the like day of voting. So I decided to try and do it early. I just wanted to get it done. An Air Force veteran, James Alv, says he and his wife came out for some extra voter insurance after his mail-in ballot arrived damaged. It, it was kind of waterlogged, yeah. so I was worried that it might not be counted. So rather than not stand in line and have it not counted, I'd rather come down and make sure that it's counted. Many we spoke to not surprised at the turnout because of what's at stake during this election. It should be the turnout that we always have, honestly, but, uh, you know, Obviously, people are kind of riled in both sides of the issues, so it's just good that everybody's out there actually expressing their opinion this time. I think we're, we're excited this time to, to, to get out of the vote. We know the importance of casting our vote and what that's going to do for the uh, you know inner city and the, and the community. Now back out here live, you can see this line stretching all the way down East 30th and around to Chester Avenue. For any disabled voters, there is a separate line at the back of the Board of Elections parking lot. And there's also a curbside option for those who cannot stand in line. Now, if you want to access the parking lot and you are a disabled voter, remember you have to travel southbound down East 30th to access it. Live in Cleveland, Jay Jarvis, News 5.